What's going on, guys? What a huge win for the Auburn Tigers men's basketball in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Now, I know a lot of y'all are thinking, oh, man, they squandered the lead and blah, blah, blah. But look, these guys were playing against a team that was very good. They were very deep. They shoot very well. And they were very resilient. And they showed that against Auburn today. So, you know, don't get into all the hype. This the team that Auburn beat today was a very good football, uh, good basketball team. Considering the fact that Auburn had a double digit lead against them, says a lot about the Auburn Tigers. But hey, that's a whole nother story. We want to talk about some of the coaching changes that have taken place with the Auburn Tigers, and that none other than Carnell Williams. Once again, it's Casey to go for Vernon Speak Sports here on a beautiful Thursday afternoon. I uh, want to give a shout out to my fearless and true gang. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. We're talking all about Auburn sports, War Eagle. So one of the biggest things going into the 2019 season for the Auburn Tigers is the running backs coach position, and that is being held by Ronnie Brown. Now, of course, Ronnie Brown was probably, arguably, one of the best running backs at Auburn in history. I remember his recruitment because I think I was a sophomore or a junior or something when he came on the scene, and we all knew that he was going to be a great football player, and he turned out to be. He also had a great career at Auburn, as well as with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He was the rookie of one of the rookies of the year uh, for the time that he played in the NFL. So one thing we have to wonder is will his expertise as a running back transfer over to being a coach because just because you know how to do something doesn't necessarily mean you know how to teach someone else to do it one thing i like about carnell williams he spent a little time at img which is uh you know basically academy for uh running backs and he did an incredible job there and i think you know with uh alan green and gus malzahn they were trying to kind of look around to see who was going to take over this spot Carnell Williams is a great choice. One, Carnell Williams is a great choice because he's been there. He was at Auburn during a time that Auburn was performing on a high level back in 2003, when, what, well, 2004, when Auburn made it, um, obviously, to the Sugar Bowl, had a chance to compete with USC in the national championship. Great time for Auburn football. Carnell Williams was there. And he can articulate that to the players, if anything else, especially when you got a guy like Gus Malzahn, for example, who I think is a great coach. But Gus Malzahn doesn't did not experience the Auburn experience. So he doesn't understand the importance of winning, per se, uh, LSU or, or Georgia or Alabama. But Carnell Williams and Travis Williams and Cody Burns and all those guys, they were right there. They understand what it means. Want to make sure y'all see the Auburn stuff. What it means to win on an SEC level. So if nothing else from a perceptual standpoint, Carnell Williams will have that influence. Now, I think his experience will also so translate to some of the guys like Cam Martin, Sean Shivers, and Booby Whitlow, and Mark Anthony Richards. Um, you know, all these guys that are coming back that are going to be playing the running back position for Auburn, they're going to understand what this running back you is all about. Because when you think about Auburn running backs, you think about guys like Carnell Williams, you think about Ronnie Brown, you think about Bo Jackson, you think about Stephen Davis, you think about, about guys like Brad Lester. Trey Mason, uh, Cameron Artis Payne, you know, uh, Peyton Barber, all of these guys who were very good running backs for Auburn University. And Carnell Williams experienced firsthand what it's like. So number one, it's just going to be great for recruiting. You know, who wouldn't want to be coached by Carnell Williams? You know, he's one of the best, best running backs in Auburn history. So I think that's going to go a long way, especially in helping Gus Malzahn with his image in, in the Auburn fan base. Because like it or love it, for the most part, the Auburn fan base has a real iffy feel about Gus. So why not surround yourself with people that Auburn love? And people love Carnell Williams. People love 
Travis Williams, people kind of sort of love Cody Burns. So that was a very good move for Gus Malzahn in the offseason. That's why when I talked to NMD TV, when I talked about Auburn's offseason grade, I thought Carnell Williams hire was a very good move for the Auburn Tigers. Once again, it's Case to the Goat for Vernon Speak Sports. At this point, I'm just talking about Auburn football. I don't even know if I'm even talking about the rest of the SEC no more. Go ahead and, and subscribe to the channel. Big win for Auburn University today in basketball over New Mexico State. A very character-building build, win for the program. War Eagle.